So where can you get a vast array of fruits sweeter than your first kiss? Veggies and spices so good for the bowel movements. Meat, eggs, and poultry. Dear God, look at her go. And also, seafood so fresh, it will make Aquaman cry. This is a morning market in Beijing where locals get produce fresher than Granny's Kitchen. Even though China is considered as one of the most, if not the most futuristic country in terms of its architecture, electronics, manufacturing and apps, it has still not lost its traditional culture and identity. And it is here in this simple and humbling market where you can witness an example of the union between traditional and futuristic. Wait, uh, just give me a sec. Yeah, there we go. On the surface, even though it appears to operate like a typical market, it offers you a glimpse into China's cashless society. Here, you can opt to use Alipay or WeChat Pay for almost everything and anything Man. under the sky. Heck, you can even use them to pay for parking. So you must be thinking, does this mean I can't use cash? <sighs> of course, not. Cash is still king. Those are just rumours. But it is important to note that because the society here is so heavily reliant on mobile payments, people just don't carry cash on hand anymore. So the next time you decide to pay by cash, please make sure to ask if they do accept it and if they have enough spare change for you. While you're shopping here, because of the scale and its buzziness, it might seem very confusing and disorientating. After all, most shops sell just about the same things and at the same price. So most locals will purchase from whoever they think has the freshest ingredients that they require. However, one other factor that locals consider when shopping is to build relations. Now I've been getting my seafood from this kind couple since I came across this market. And by now, they already know me pretty well. And not to mention, they also recognize what my usual orders are. Most of the time, I will also be recommended the catch of the day or even given special discounts. Take this breakfast shop for another example. The owners have built good relations with their customers over the years and have many regulars as a result. Everyone is treated like a family member and it is an absolute joy to watch. Enough talk, let's go get some food. Everything here is either fresh or made fresh. And if you just can't decide what to get, just observe what the locals are ordering and blend in. Well, at least that's what I do. So I've got some bean curd here. We have something similar in Singapore, but it's more of a dessert where we have it with soybean milk as well as honey syrup. But here we have some savoury sauce. Uh, I'm gonna have a taste of it. It's so soft, but it doesn't collapse on its own. It just disintegrates in your mouth. Usually, if you have the bean curd on its own, you'll easily get sick of it. But because of the savoury sauce, you can have it forever. The savoury sauce is made of some fermented bean, so it's slightly salty, but not too bad. I bought a chive biscuit here, so let's give it a go. It has three layers to it, a crispy outside that is flaky, and then you have the middle bit that is slightly soft and gooey, like almost mochi-like flavour, and then you have the savoury chive inside. So good. Personally, I'm a carnivore, but I can have this for breakfast all day. And you know, because I was still hungry, I decided to try something different from the same shop. But... Oh, the same shit. <laughs> anyway, all this talking is making me really thirsty. And since it's only early in the morning, I got myself a light, refreshing beer. Look at that foam, baby! And one last thing to note, the unit of measurement in China is Jin. 
and it represents 500 grams. So the next time you visit China, be sure to check out one of these local markets and don't forget to subscribe and stay so thirsty. Thank you.